Welcome to the Point Furman Lighthouse, the natural entrance to the LA Harbor. The lighthouse was in operation from 1874 until 1941. When the lighthouse was first built here, there was no San Pedro. The gardens that you see around the lighthouse were added later when the park was built around the lighthouse. Our lighthouse was used as a watchtower to help protect the harbor during World War II. With the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the light was extinguished so it wouldn't be a beacon to enemy ships. The light was never relit. The view you're seeing now is from the lantern room, as if you were the light looking out into the harbor and the surrounding San Pedro area. You can see why this spot was chosen for the entrance to the LA Harbor, or what was then called the San Pedro Bay. The kitchen as seen here is truly the heart of the home. You can see here the old wood-burning stove, although most of the time it ran off coal here at the lighthouse because wood was not easy to come by here on the point. A lot of the artifacts you see here are anywhere from 1874 through to 1927, all the eras of our lighthouse keepers. Mary and Ella Smith were our first lighthouse keepers. Two sisters kept the light. Was it unusual to have women lighthouse keepers? Yes, it's very unusual for them to be the first lighthouse keepers of Point Furman. Traditionally, the parlor room, as you see here, would be your public space. When you had visitors over, this is where you would entertain them. You'd give them tea. Yes, that age-old tea set that you see there. If it's during the evening, you have music like you can see here, maybe a small auto harp, a violin, a fiddle. Those types of instruments were very much how people entertained in the evenings, along with, of course, conversation. The lighthouse has stood as a beacon to the entrance of the LA Harbor for 143 years. The City of Los Angeles and the Point Furman Lighthouse Society are here to welcome you and to continue its legacy into the future.